Hey, it's Ted Padromo. I want to show you how the search works with the new LinkedIn interface. And this is a test account that I use. It's my brother-in-law's account. He doesn't use LinkedIn and it's a the free account. So it lets me test different features. So I have a premium account, but I don't have the upgrade yet. So, and I have some clients that have the upgrade and premium accounts and I have lots of different platforms to test with, which is great. But very clean interface here and the search box is very simple now it doesn't give you all those little drop downs what happens is when you start typing i just recently did a search for accountant and it says do you want look, jobs for accountant people or groups and then it gives you some suggestions here so this is kind of like the google as you start typing in google it suggests popular searches so let's just look at title with accountant So here we've got 1.4 million results. That's basically everybody on LinkedIn that has the word account in, in their job title. So if I want to filter this, and this is nice because when I was doing the beta testing for the inter new interface, a lot of these search fields weren't here. So this is encouraging that they've added this back in. There's going to be a very simple search, but it looks like it's going to be pretty good. So let's say I want to look for just United States accountants and there's 436,000 and you can search by current companies and here it just gives you some suggestions and then you can add so you start typing and it gives you basically fills in for you so that's kind of nice you don't have a whole list of companies you're not interested you really can be focused on what you're searching for past companies people worked at different industries so here it has basically you know simple ones but you can add more you can do aviation airlines so this is nice that that they've added this back in also this is something they said was going to disappear all the advanced search fields weren't going to be available unless you, you know, even if you had premium, you weren't going to have all the things. So this is good. They've added this back in. I think they're listening to people and what they really want from the LinkedIn experience because we were saying people are going to be pushed into Sales Navigator if you wanted these extra search fields, but it looks like you can keep your basic LinkedIn account and have the, all these extra search fields. So this is good news. Let's see what they offer for the upgrade for this. Okay, so we can do sales. Interesting that Dieter can't select these plans. Here's the premium business. Okay, so there's a free month. So it's as little as $47.99 a month when you're billed annually. So that's the basic business account. It looks like they're pushing you here $64.99 for Sales Navigator. Okay. So that's really how the search is working now. This is good news. I've just discovered it's not going to change as much as I thought it was going to be. So if you have a premium account, I would keep it. If you really want to look at Sales Navigator, do a free month and try that out. But in our webinar tomorrow, I will be showing more advanced search features. And you see how these have appeared now, different ways to search there. So I'll, I'll dig deeper into the search in the webinar and show you really how to save it. And I just heard from one of my colleagues that the save search will still be available. It's not on this account, but down here at the bottom, when you had those save searches, you could you know, set up automated searches that ran 24 hours a day looking for prospects for you. And it sounds like that's coming back too for the free accounts and the premium accounts. So that's rolling out as we speak also. So LinkedIn's doing lots of changes here. So Get on the webinar with me tomorrow and I'll keep you informed. For more free training, visit socialsellingminute.com.